If you put a slash after that in weather, you can also find Carly, but she's here live with us right now with the latest. Carly. Yeah, that's exactly right. Uh, I got to do that interview with the Hurricane Hunters, and it's really fascinating because, like he was mentioning, it's this type of scenario where their job is really important because we don't get things like the forecast cone that's accurate without finding where the center of the storm is and essentially something fascinating about this potential tropical cyclone one is that it is just so broad there's not an organized center and that's why it's not getting a name 40 mile per hour wind gust is tropical storm strength wind or 40 mile per hour sustained wind does categorize it as a tropical storm. Those gusts are up to 50 miles per hour and we could see some of that here in the coastal bend. Now that's not because the center of the storm is going to make landfall here. It's going to stay south still. So that's where the strongest winds around the center will be. What we are going to see is essentially all of the wind that's coming up around the edge of the system in between that high pressure that we talked about yesterday over the eastern United States, all of that wind is going to come up and that is is in, intensified because of the pressure gradient between the low that's over the Gulf and the high pressure that's building over the eastern United States. And that's why we have the tropical storm warnings in place. Additionally, it is important to remind you and point out that once the system passes through, we're not necessarily in the clear. Hurricane season is just getting started, but we've got another 30% chance of development that's possible once again in that same area, the Bay of Campeche and into the Western Gulf. We'll dive into more details coming up. Barbie John Thomas.